This video is for three different types of people with three different budgets. If you fit the category of any of these three people, then keep watching, okay? Person number one, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain what, what I'm talking about, but person number one has a $500 budget to start an Amazon FBA business. Person number two has a $1,000 Amazon budget to start a budget to start an Amazon FBA business. And person number three has a $1,500 budget to start an Amazon FBA business. If you are in one of those three categories, then keep watching this video. If you're not in one of those categories, I guess I can tell you, you don't have to watch this video, but you will still find the information very, very useful because I do talk about if you have less than $500 and if you have more than $1,500. So if you wanna start an Amazon FBA business, keep watching. Now, please subscribe to this channel. I'm doing a lot of different kinds of videos. I'm doing a lot of print on demand videos and I wanted to take it back to the roots of where this channel started, which was Amazon. And I wanted to try and start making a few more Amazon videos because that is pretty much my main focus and that is my favorite business at the moment. So I've got my notes here. Let's find out which one are you and what path you should be taking. So if you have $500 to be spending on starting your Amazon business, what should you be doing? Well, firstly, I would say don't take a course, okay? And I know you're probably thinking, what, you have a course, why are you telling me not to take a course? Well, I don't want to take all of your money and just run. I actually want you to have a successful business. And if you've only got $500 to spend, I don't want you to give that to me for my course and then you have nothing left to actually go and invest in your business, right? Where's the logic in that? That would be really, that would, I feel that, that just sounds like scammy. Like, I'm just like, Come on, give me your money, give me your money. And then, oh wait, you've just taken my course, but you now have no money. So no, obviously not, right? If you have a $500 budget, then look for free information. You must be careful though, okay? You, you, you must be careful because you don't wanna make a mistake here, but you wanna find free information. You want to try and get some help from mentors. Maybe you can send me an, an Instagram message or you can leave a comment down below. I love answering your questions, but try and seek out some free help from people. Maybe say, once I start making enough money with this, then I can buy your course, like just, try and go for the free information at first, okay? Avoid tools, okay? If you have a $500 budget, then what the hell are you doing spending money on tools? Avoid Jungle Scout, avoid AMG Scout, avoid Helium 10, avoid everything, okay? Don't spend money on tools if you've only got a $500 budget. And, and let me just quickly set the record straight here, and I'm very passionate about this. If it's between buying a course or spending money on a tool, always, always buy that course. I'm not saying this because I have a course and I don't have a tool. I'm saying this because there is no point you using a tool if you don't know how that tool is working. You need to know how that tool is finding its information. You need to know how that tool is working in order to understand how to actually create a business. So if it's spending money on a tool or spending money on a, uh, a course to actually learn the business, always, always go with the course and the education, okay? Always. You can't, I'll give you an example. You can't always rely on a calculator, okay? So if it's about learning how to actually do some maths and some sums and whatever it may be, or if it's just investing in a calculator and never having to think about it, then don't be silly. Obviously invest in the education of understanding the mathematics behind whatever you're trying to work out. Don't just invest in a calculator and rely on a machine to do it for you, especially when there's money involved. Don't rely on a tool to find you a winning product and to make you money every single month, okay? Use your own brain, use your own intuition, use your own intelligence to figure that out. And that's where courses come in, but that's not what I'm saying, okay? Because if you're on a $500 budget, you shouldn't be buying a course, you shouldn't be buying a tool, okay? Try and seek free advice. Focus at least a month on finding a product. And I know you're thinking, what? Oh no, I don't wanna focus a month on finding a product. No, I'm serious. Focus a month on finding a product, and that might seem like a long time, but in the grand scheme of things, I've been doing this business for five years now. What is one month over five years, okay? Nothing. So focus on a month, focus one month on finding a product, and when I say that, I mean fully go into that product. Look up keywords, look up competition, look up demand, look at the back end, look at the front end, look at the everything end, look at, just, I want to see a humongous wall, like this entire wall, of mind map of one particular product and why you think that product is going to be successful. And then, and only then, should you invest that $500 into stock, 
okay? And try and order the minimum amount of stock. You don't wanna be ordering 500 units or 1,000 units. You wanna try and get 100 units or 200 units, depending on how much that item is going to cost you. Okay, the next thing is you don't want to spend so much money on advertising. So this is why the, the product has to be so good that you don't really need advertising. When we started on Amazon, our product was such a good product, we didn't have to spend a penny on advertising and we still got to the first page in literally a couple of weeks. So you don't want to, you don't have such a big budget, so you're probably gonna be able to spend maybe 350 to $400 on the actual product and you've got yourself potentially 50 to $100 on advertising but you really don't want to do that. And then the, the idea is you sell that product and then you will reinvest the profits or the reinvest the revenue even into more stock. And yes, you will run out of stock, but that's completely okay because you're starting with a much smaller budget. So if you have $500 to spend on starting Amazon business, that is your criteria. That is what you should be focusing on. If you're in the $1,000 budget range to start Amazon FBA business, what should you be doing? Well, what should you be doing? So you should be doing pretty much everything budget number one guy was doing, except this different difference is you should invest in a course instead of doing the free information, okay? Instead of trying to find free information and trying to get help from mentors and trying to figure this all out on your own, invest between $500 and $700 in a course, a good course, okay? A really good course. Find a mentor you like. If you like me, brilliant. If you hate me, why are you watching my video? No, but really, find a, a, someone you really like. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. One minute. It's the wifey. Hey, I'm in, in the middle of doing a video. Hello, camera. Am I in the video now? You, you are now in the video. I apologize for that inconvenience. Anyway, I was saying, so yes, spend Okay, it's hard to say if you have a thousand dollar budget because you want to also have enough money for stock. So I would say maybe even spend five hundred dollars on a course. And if you if there are no courses out there, five hundred dollars for example, ours is six hundred ninety seven dollars. Message me, we can figure something out. I want to help you. Okay, so spend that five hundred dollars on a course instead of looking for the free information, the the free tools, the free advice, and do everything based on that course. So you've now spent $500 on a course, the next $500 should be on your stock, or three to 400 on stock, and 100 on advertising, okay? And again, continue to avoid tools. You are not in a budget, you, you do not have a budget big enough to invest in tools just yet, okay? Especially if you're buying a course. And like I said, courses are more important than tools, okay? The education is more important than the calculator, all right? so. Budget number two, which is the $1,000, same as budget number one, except now you've bought a course and you've saved yourself a bit of time. It shouldn't take you a month to find a product anymore. You could probably do it in about two weeks because of the information you're learning from the course. But again, make sure you really, really, really focus on the product. If you wanna take a month, then go and take that month and find the product because it's so unbelievably important. Okay, that is budget number two. I know it's very similar to number one, but it is technically different because you're now following training, you have mentorship, you can be emailing me or emailing whoever you are getting the course from for advice on your product. It's a whole different ball game, okay? It's a completely different ball game because I can actually give you advice on whether or not your product is going to be successful. So that's why I say invest in a course if you've got a thousand dollars. If you are budget number three man and you have one thousand five hundred dollars, what should you be doing? Well, number one, invest in a course. Again, same as budget number two you need to invest in a course, okay? Now, okay, you don't need to do anything, but that step-by-step -step will really, really change the way you do Amazon, okay? It will really help you. What else changes? Well, I still want you to follow budget one, okay? I know this sounds weird. You're like, all the budgets are the same as budget one. What is the difference here? Well, the reason I say always follow budget number one is because there is nothing wrong with being frugal, okay? There is nothing wrong with being frugal at all. So just because you have a lot of money does not mean you need to spend it. If you are a millionaire, it doesn't mean you need to go and buy fancy cars and fancy houses. You can still be frugal. Look at Graham Stephan. Sorry, he is an amazing example of this, okay? He is a millionaire and he doesn't go out and just splash his cash, all right? He is frugal with his money, which is why he's so successful. It's a reason why he's so successful. So just because your budget is $1,500, don't go like, oh, we've got $1,500 here, guys. Uh, I want to buy all the courses. I want to buy all the tools. I want to do all of this. No, okay? If your budget is $1,500, buy yourself a course, okay? Follow that course. Now, 
you can buy yourself a tool as well if you feel like it's going to help you, if you feel like you wanna speed it up and you want that extra reassurance. And if you are going to do that, then watch my video next week. I'm reviewing a brand new tool, which is brilliant, better than any other tool I've used. And I made a video on it already um, telling you about it. But anyway, the video is coming out next week for that. So what else are you doing? You want to stock up, you wanna stock up double what you stock up with your first budget. So because you have more money for, for, for starting, you wanna spend, let's say 500 to 700 on a course. You then want to spend 600 on your first budget product okay does that make sense you want to spend 600 on your first product which is double what you're spending budget one and budget two and then you could spend maybe 50 to 100 dollars on a call uh, sorry on a tool and if a tool is monthly then that's also fine because it's like 20 or 30 dollars a month and that's absolutely fine okay and then you've also got yourself maybe 100 to 200 dollars on advertising that product which is also good but again with budget number three don't think oh because i've got more money i can find a product in a week and i can get started in a month and i'll be getting sales in two months, I'll be making all this money. No, treat this as if you have no budget, right? Still do the month worth of research, still really get laser focused in. You don't want to just splash the cash, okay? This business is a serious business and you wanna take it seriously. Now, what do you do if you don't fit in any of those categories? Well, if you have more money than budget number three, if you've got 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 10,000 to invest, you are Brilliant, You well done you, you are going to crush this, okay? What you need to do is you need to stick to budget number three, that plan, okay, course, maybe buy a tool, except the difference is you'll be able to spend more on advertising. I still don't think you should spend more on stock, okay? I still think you should only double up what you would have, been, what you would have bought in budget number one stock. So if you're gonna buy 200 units, if you have budget number one, buy 400 units, even if you have 20 grand to spend because you never know if a product is going to sell well and just because you have tons of money does not mean you should throw it away. The only difference is once you buy stock, if you see it selling and you have a high enough budget, you can reinvest straight away so you don't run out of stock, okay? So that is what you should be doing if you have a much higher budget. And also, if you have a much higher budget, I want you to be focusing on Facebook advertising as well as Amazon advertising because it will really shoot you up the ranks much, much higher. Now, what should you do if your budget is below $500? You're not even in the first criteria, the first category, the first budget. What should you do? Well, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. Go and make some more money. I know this sounds harsh, and I know I sound a bit like a dick because I'm saying this, but I'm being real with you. I want you to succeed, and it's very, very hard to succeed with Amazon if you have two, three hundred dollars to spend because you don't really have a budget for anything. So what I will say to you is maybe sign up for Fiverr, buy and sell some stuff on eBay, buy and sell some stuff on Amazon, but not like whole business stuff, or go and try and do some odd jobs. If you're still in school, sell stuff to other kids, sell food, whatever. If um, you can buy stuff on Facebook Marketplace and sell it on Facebook Marketplace or buy and sell on eBay, just try and figure out or go and get a, yourself a job for a month or two months. Get yourself that, that two, 300 pounds, four, 500 pounds, whatever it is, get yourself to the budget number one and then start your Amazon business. But let me just tell you, it's very, very easy for you to quickly jump to budget number three. $1,500 is not a lot of money. And even if you're 14, 15 years old, I remember when I was 14, I was babysitting and I made 14, $1,500. Well, I made the equivalent in pounds, but I made that in not a very long time. So there's no rush to doing this business. If you can start now, brilliant. If you can't, don't worry. Go and save up a bit of money, babysit, go and get a job. If you work for one month, like part-time after school, you will get your 1,000 pounds or you'll get your 500 pounds and you'll be absolutely fine. Your $500, whatever currency you're in, you'll be absolutely fine. And then come back and see what budget you fit and get started with the business. Now, if you have any questions about the budget or maybe if you if you have not if you have a different budget to all of this if you have like seven and a half thousand or six thousand three hundred ninety six dollars you have a specific budget let me know in the comments down below if you have a specific budget or if you don't want everyone to know dm me in instagram show me morris one and let me know what your budget is and tell me where you should be going and i will give you the steps that you should be taking for your budget okay that is all for this video i thought it was a very useful video i hope you liked it if you did please leave a comment down below please subscribe. I've got some really awesome videos coming out. I hope you like them all. And yeah, I will see you in tomorrow's video.